I have a collection of, of supercapacitors, or sometimes called ultracapacitors, sometimes called electrochemical capacitors. But you can see that unlike ordinary capacitors that have capacitance of maybe a, a millifarads, 10 to minus 3 farads, these capacitors, you can see, have, this is 3,000 farads. Okay. This one here is 1,400 farads. This one is 2,000 farads. So these are a very different type of device. They look very different and they function very different than the, than the standard capacitors that you would find in your TV, your radio, or even in the camera. Now, we we test these, we would test all of these capacitors using, using this, this first tester that I, that I, I, I mentioned because this, this capacitor can easily take 400, can supply 400 volts. It can supply much more than that, but we test it at, uh, we test it at, at up to 400, 400 volts. These, these are what's called spiral wound in that the, elect the electrodes are wound like this and most of the capacitors are made that way. But more recently, people are beginning to make capacitors where the, instead of winding, there are plates laid on top of one another and you get what's called a prismatic or a square a square shape and this 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 is made then much like that that battery that battery down uh, uh, that, that we we talked about previously so there are spiral wound batteries and flat prismatic uh, batteries and spiral wound capacitors and flat capacitors this is a, is a capacitor made by a company in Estonia. So we have these from all over the world. This is 650 farads. Uh, it's one of the older ones that we, that we have in the lab. Suggest several cells. This is one cell, that's one cell, that's one cell. So each cell has two, has two electrodes here. But the capacitors operate very much not better at low temperatures than a battery would at the same temperature. So one of the applications of those capacitors is to combine the capacitor with the lead acid battery for starting large diesel trucks. So that gets around the, gets around the uh, problem of starting the diesel trucks. Because you know they keep the diesel trucks idling all night long in the cold weather. Well, if you put the capacitors in parallel with the batteries, then that allows you to uh, uh, start to start the truck, essentially using the using the capacitor, than the instead of the battery. So that's one of the applications that has turned out to be a very good application for capacitors. And people are actually selling now units that in the same in the same box includes both the battery and the and the capacitor. The capacitors, the electrolyte in the capacitor is much less sensitive to the, the temperature than the electrolyte in the, in, the, in the batteries. So it works out that the capacitance changes almost not, none, be, zero between, my, say, minus 30 and, and plus 30 degrees C. But the resistance might only change by 10 or 15 percent when you go from room temperature to minus, to minus 30. So that's why it's a good, it's a good match.